Ever imagined controlling your phone with your mind like in sci-fi movies? Well, a company called Neuralink is working on making that a reality. They're developing tiny brain implants that can read your thoughts and connect them to machines. This might sound crazy, but Elon Musk, the famous tech entrepreneur, is behind it all. He believes Neuralink could revolutionize how we interact with technology, even helping people with disabilities see, hear, and move again. Sounds pretty amazing, right? But before you get too excited, let's break it down. In this part of the video, we'll answer, what exactly is Neuralink? What's Elon Musk's big vision for it? And most importantly, what could this mean for you in the future? So buckle up, get your mind ready, and join us on this journey into the fascinating world of Neuralink. Imagine tiny threads, thinner than a human hair, gently inserted into your brain. That's the core of Neuralink's technology. These threads contain hundreds of electrodes that act like super sensitive microphones. Picking up the electrical signals your brain cells fire when you think, move, or feel. Think of it like this. Your brain is an orchestra firing neurons like instruments creating a symphony. Neuralink is like a conductor, listening closely and translating those signals into digital information a computer can understand. But what does that mean for you? Imagine controlling your phone or computer just by thinking. Want to play a song? No need to touch a button. Just focus on the music, giving a voice to those who can't speak. For people with paralysis or speech disorders, Neuralink could offer a way to communicate directly through their thoughts. Restoring lost senses. Imagine helping someone see again by bypassing damaged nerves and sending visual information straight to their brain. Sounds magical, right? But remember, this technology is still young. Scientists are still experimenting and learning how to interpret these brain signals accurately. In the next part, we'll dive deeper into the safety concerns and challenges Neuralink faces before becoming a reality. Neuralink's bold promises spark exciting possibilities, but alongside the hype comes a crucial question. Is it safe? Testing new technologies on living beings raises ethical concerns, and Neuralink's animal trials haven't been without controversy. Some reports describe infections, complications, and even animal deaths, sparking debates about animal welfare and the need for stricter testing guidelines. But let's face it, the real question is, are we ready to put this in humans? Neuralink recently received approval for human trials, but experts warn of potential risks. Brain surgery itself comes with inherent risks like bleeding, infection, and damage to healthy tissue. Long-term effects of the implant are unknown and potential issues like tissue rejection or malfunction could have serious consequences. Data security and privacy are major concerns. Who has access to your brain data? Is it vulnerable to hacking or misuse? These are valid concerns, and it's important to acknowledge that Neuralink still faces significant hurdles before widespread adoption. But it's crucial to remember that responsible scientific progress relies on careful research and open dialogue. In the next part, we'll explore these challenges further and see how Neuralink is addressing them. Remember, knowledge is power. This video aims to empower you with information so you can form your own opinions about this groundbreaking technology. Stay tuned for part four, where we'll delve into the potential future of Neuralink and whether it's truly the mind-blowing revolution it promises to be. Imagine a world where you can. Talk directly to computers with your thoughts. Download new skills instantly, control robots with your mind, or even translate languages in real time. All through the power of Neuralink. Enhance your own mental abilities. Imagine boosting your memory, focus, or learning speed through brain stimulation. Science fiction? Maybe not for much longer. Upload your memories and experiences. Some believe Neuralink could one day allow us to preserve our memories forever, even share them with others. However, the ethical and philosophical implications of such a technology are vast and complex. But hold on, before you start planning your virtual vacation, let's pump the brakes a bit. While these possibilities are exciting, we need to be realistic. Neuralink is still in its early stages and achieving these futuristic visions could take decades, if not longer. There are significant technological hurdles to overcome, not to mention the ethical and societal questions that need careful consideration. For example, who controls this powerful technology? 
How do we ensure equitable access and prevent discrimination based on brain enhancements? What happens if something goes wrong, leading to mental or emotional manipulation? These are just some of the questions we need to grapple with before diving headfirst into this brave new world. In the next part, we'll open the floor to you. We'll discuss the potential impact of Neuralink on our lives, the choices we face, and what it means for the future of humanity. Join the conversation and share your thoughts. Remember, the future is not predetermined, and your voice matters in shaping how technology like Neuralink evolves. Neuralink has sparked imaginations and ignited debates worldwide. But let's face it, this technology carries immense weight. It raises questions not just about technical feasibility, but also about ethics, identity, and what it means to be human. So, the crucial question remains. Do you think Neuralink is a positive step towards the future or a dangerous path we should avoid? Here are some points to ponder. Would you ever consider getting a Neuralink implant? What benefits would it offer you? Are the risks too significant? Who should have access to this technology? Should it be available to everyone or only for specific use cases like medical treatment? What are the potential downsides of enhanced cognition? Could it create social inequality or even threaten our privacy and free will? Where do we draw the line between human and machine? As technology merges with our biology, how do we maintain individuality and ethical boundaries? This isn't just about a cool gadget, it's about shaping the future we want to live in. So, we invite you to join the conversation. Share your thoughts, questions and concerns. Let's have an open and informed discussion about Neuralink and its potential impact on all of us. Until next one, thanks for joining us. This is Bits and Bots signing off.